Alright, just going to make a video refuting the Calvinistic twisting of Romans chapter 9, verse 15 and 16, which is a verse they like to twist and rip out of context, like most of the Calvinistic proof texts, to prove their false predestination doctrine, prove limited atonement, and prove that man has no free will in regards to salvation. Now, uh, Calvinism is depending on ripping scriptures out of context, because they will take obscure verses, they'll isolate them, and use them as proof texts, which is what any kind of cult does. We're going to read the text they like to use. It is Romans chapter 9, verse 15 to 16. It says, For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have, compa I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. Now, uh, they twist that and say that God will choose who gets saved, and God predestines those for salvation. That's not at all what it's saying. God isn't. God is indeed who shows mercy. I'm not denying that. God is also who, uh, you know, has sovereign has sovereignty. But of course, Calvinists they twist what sovereignty means. By the way, too, they they twist the sovereignty of God because first of all, the word sovereignty appears nowhere in Scripture. I want to point that out. Uh, the way they teach sovereignty is not the biblical sovereignty of God, but that's a side issue. But here's what they do. Okay, they will not. They will ignore the context of what's going on. Okay, so Paul, in the context, is talking about the Jews rejecting Christ and their need of salvation. Uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 1 to 5. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ, for my brethren and my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of God, and the promises, whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is over all, who is over all, sorry, God blessed forever, amen. Not good at reading on a computer, but uh, we see that he's bemoaning over them, not over their uh, lost state, and saying how they need to get saved. They are in need of salvation. So what's going on? Well, the context of Romans chapter 9, verse 15 to 16 is simply about God choosing to offer salvation to the Jews and the Gentiles and grafting in some and cutting off others based on what? What we're going to see based on their faith or unbelief. The Jews were cut off. Why? Because they had unbelief. The Gentiles are grafted in. Why? Because they had faith. That's what's going on there. That's what it's saying in context. That's why it's saying God will have mercy on whom he'll have mercy. Paraphrasing, of course. But... He's having mercy on whom you have mercy, because why? The Gentiles had faith, the Jews didn't. Now, there, were, there was a remnant of Jews that did believe, absolutely. But that's what's going on in context. It's not saying that God predestines those for salvation and those for, dam for damnation. It's not at all what it's saying. Okay, let's, again, see what it's saying about, the, about choosing others based on faith and cutting off others based on unbelief. Romans chapter 9, verse 23 to 24. Okay, I do apologize. I had a bit of an interruption there, but what I was saying is that in Romans chapter 3, Sorry, Romans chapter 9, I do apologize. Verse 23 to 24, we're given details on what's going on about the faith and the election there. Uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 23 and 24. And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory, even us whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. We see there what's going on. Now again, what about the faith and unbelief? Well, we're given more details in Romans chapter 9, verse 30 to 33. Down to verse thirty and ver thir down to verse thirty to verse thirty three. Now it says, uh, "What shall we say then? That the Gentiles which followed not after righteousness have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. But Israel which followed after the law of righteousness hath not attained unto the law of righteousness. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, uh, but it but as it were not sorry as it were by the works of the law, for they stumbled at that stumbling stone." For it is written, Behold, I lay in Sion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Now again, not good at reading things on a flickering, flickering computer screen, but we see there, uh, what's the stumbling block? The faith. Okay, He's uh, having mercy on those who have faith and cutting off those who are in unbelief. That's what's going on. It's not saying that God predestines those for salvation and damnation. Further confirmed in Romans chapter 11, verse 20 to 23. Romans chapter 11, verses 20 to 23. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And thou standest by faith, be not high-minded, but fear. For if God spared not the natural branches, take heed, lest he also spare not thee. And behold, therefore the goodness and severity of God on them which fell, severity, but towards thee, goodness, if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shalt be cut off. 
uh, and they and they also, if they abide not, still in unbelief, shall be grafted in, for God is able to graft them in again. Again, not good at reading things on a computer, but we see there what's what's the standard? Unbelief. Okay, they they have unbelief and they're cut off as a result of that. And he's having he's choosing to have mercy on those who have faith, the Gentiles who had faith. That's what's going on in context. But see, the Calvinists they rip verse 15 and 16 and they try to base their whole base most of their system on that and also other obscure verses in Romans 9 out of context as well but they won't read the full context of what's going on in the passage there you know it's about it's about how salvation is not by your flesh but by faith and unbelief and the Jews which had the promises but why they had unbelief and therefore they were cut off that's what's going on in context don't be deceived by Calvinism like any cult it's based on ripping scripture and isolating scripture out of context so don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.